part of system, I have to find out the response of a simple transfer function model, which I have selected. So first I have to draw a transfer function. For this purpose, I select this function. I create denominator. I create denominator and then let I have to draw a step response of this system. To find out the step response of this system, I select step response, then I have to connect here. It is autom automatically selected, so it takes transformation. It can take transformation, it can take state space, it can take whole zero. Point. Okay, so it gives me create indicator, it gives me step response of the this transformation and this part parametric time response gives me rise time delay time settling time like this and this gives me time response specific data I have a indicator. and control u now i go to my front panel window and i have selected the first order system which is my one upon uh, second order system which is my one upon s square into s plus one for this type of system this is my transformation this is my step response and this is my rise time overshoot peak time set steady state gain peak value and setting time and if i put it in continuous mode when i add up a zero in this system i got a response like this my rise time change overshoot change peak time change all over change and drop is also changed if i add some coefficient to my s square term i got this type of response okay now from here you can change your transformation and take the step response in lab view thank you